Hello there. Welcome to Raw Vegan Rising. My name is Shane Sterling. And in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about raw food and the higher self. I don't know if everyone even knows that there is a higher self. I think most people are governed by their lower selves, which is our physical form. And we're so in reaction to our physical reality. And we're so bombarded by stimulus through obviously our senses and through, you know, lifestyle and lifestyle choices and even bad lifestyle choices like the inundation we get when we eat junk food that keeps us from understanding what our higher self is and how we access our higher self. And I feel very fortunate and blessed in my life that I have had a relationship with my higher self and I feel like I've gotten the relationship with my higher self through just who I was born as. I don't know if it's something that I learned because I'm an intuitive person, highly sensitive, intuitive person. And that leads me to being able to listen to my internal guidance system. And I often think of intu intuition as the internal guidance system. That's the subtle voice inside of us that guides us toward our purpose, our path, the right choices, uh, morality and ethics, and uh, basically like betterment for all. Win-win situations, our internal guidance system will always lead us to win-win situations because it is a higher self. It is the higher overarching energy that is the divine intelligence that inhabits our body that comes from the non-physical form, the non-physical dimension and density. So it's an aspect of us that is us, that animates us, but it lives in a higher frequency and there's different levels to that frequency. So it's not just one oversoul that kind of sees down on us. I don't believe, I believe there's higher, more subtle frequencies to our own self, our own nature. And that gives us guidance toward the betterment for all, you know, empathy, ethics, and compassion and morality, because on those higher frequencies, all is one in the, in the bigger picture out of density, out of like the chaos of the physical world, everything is connected and everything is one. So those energies that exist in the higher dimensions are always seeking to equalize and to find an equilibrium in harmony and balance in oneness. So if we say, for instance, can quiet our mind, like in meditation or just a walk on the beach, we start to have thoughts and feelings and impulses that can come from the higher self. And those thoughts and feelings and impulses might be something that we just brush off as an idea, just a simple impulse that is irrelevant to our life, but actually might be the guidance system leading us toward, you know, uh, choices and decisions that will ultimately bring us into balance and balance and harmony in the oneness. Now, I believe that if we were all to be in complete harmony and balance with our higher self, we would probably all be living a spiritual life, a life devoted to our spiritual progression and spiritual evolution, which would naturally lead us to higher vibrational foods and the raw foods. The reason that I've been led to raw food in my life is because of my intuition, my relationship with my higher self. My higher self has told me to pursue a raw vegan diet for my consciousness, for the betterment of all, for the harmony and balance with the oneness. And that's why I have taken on that diet and lifestyle is because I value the inner guidance system that I have. My internal guidance system is one of the most precious aspects to my existence and I've developed enough of a relationship and how to listen to my internal guidance system enough to where if I get an impulse, if I get a message, if I get led down a certain path of awareness like raw food for me, I listen. I don't question it 
I listen because I know that the magnetize, magnetization toward wholeness and oneness is bigger than me and it's bigger than my mind can conceive. I don't have the answers in the physical dimension, but I do have the answers in the higher dimensions because that's where my oneness with everything resides in the higher subtler frequencies. So when I develop a relationship with my higher self, I'm literally allowing higher vibrational oneness, awareness of universal oneness to be part of me. But it takes practice, it takes a quietness of the mind, it takes deeply knowing that you're safe and that you're okay, regardless of what happens in the world. You know, that even if things are, even if you're in danger, even if you're threatened, on a fundamental level, deep down, a fundamental level inside of you, you're okay. Because if you don't think you're okay, if you think you actually are in a fight or flight situation on a deep soul level, you'll never have the quietness or the fortitude. You'll never truly trust who you are and what your existence is doing here. And if you don't truly trust yourself and what your existence is all about, you'll never, never be able to listen to your higher self. So you have to trust that you're essentially invincible, that your physical form can come and go, but you, your soul essence and your soul presence is eternal, omnipresent, eternally wise and powerful. And when you know that, truly know that, then the goal is to quiet the mind and the chaos of the physical world and really keep in alignment and in tune with the higher self and the messages that come from the higher frequencies. This allows us to live in the world and be part of the world, but not of the world, because we can be of the oneness, the universal mind, the universal connectedness to all things, but still participate in the world. And that's where we contribute, because if we're pulling in the higher oneness vibrations, we are then rippling that out, radiating that out into the fabric of reality around us. And that means everyone around us, everything we do, our workplace, our jobs, our lifestyle, everything, everyone we know and interact with, our friends and family, all feel that. And they get the benefits of that naturally because that is the oneness that magnetizes and harmonizes everything to it. You know, it's like the physical dimension is like scattered energy, but it all resonates back up to the one primal, fundamental, universal, divine intelligence. So it doesn't matter if we're down here in scattered chaos of the physical world. It only matters that we keep a connection to the one divine intelligence, and that makes the chaos okay. So I encourage you to eat a raw food diet because when you do that, you lighten the frequencies, you lighten the load on your body and your mind and your spirituality and your emotions. It allows you to move forward and on, on an emotional and spiritual journey of self-discovery and healing and personal development. It's deeply meaningful and it's deeply powerful. I highly encourage you to step into more faith that you are okay and you're fully taken care of no matter what threat seems to be posing and looming outside in the world. And deep down, you're okay no matter what happens. And if that's the case, and if you can step into that awareness, you can let go of the addiction to cooked food. You can let go of the darker and heavier densities that keep us swirling in the chaos of the lower vibrations, which includes cooked food. When we let go of the addictions that hold us in those energy patterns, we can actually naturally therefore start to raise up out of the lower densities. It's really just a matter of physics. You know, it's a matter of physics. And if we don't pay attention to the laws of physics, we suffer the consequences like disease and degeneration and mental illness, and suffering, and sorrow, sadness, depression, 
chaos and lack of trust in who we are, lack of trust in the world, lack of trust in our own integrity and who we are. And therefore, we're not going to be compassionate enough or empathetic enough to have ethics and morals. Therefore, we're going to eat animals. We're going to slaughter animals on a mass factory farm scale like we do on this planet and feel that there's no repercussions for that action. When in fact, there's the biggest consequence possible, which is that we don't trust ourselves and that we stay in the lower scattered densities and never realize that the divine magnetizing harmony of oneness is part of us too. It's part of the animals, it's part of the plants, it's part of the sun, the water, the ocean, the sand, everything, including us. So it's our birthright to feel worthy, to trust ourselves and to be part of it in harmony and balance in the oneness and to be stewards, ethical, moral stewards of the domain we find ourselves in, which is planet Earth and all the flora and fauna of planet Earth. I believe if we step onto a raw food lifestyle and eat more raw fruits and vegetables in our life, we'll naturally start to detoxify out the, the heavier densities that have polluted our body. The acid buildup, the toxins, the pesticides, the heavy metals, the accumulation of life and sorrow and misery and grief that we've carried with us our whole life, we can start to emotionally, spiritually detoxify out. So we can lighten the load and tune into our higher self and tune into the oneness and the messages that come down through our higher self into us that helps all of humanity so we can be more of service and we can live a better life and we can help everyone on planet Earth live a better life. It's the natural process of the magnetization to oneness. And it starts with trusting ourselves. It starts with having the courage to align with higher vibrational frequencies like raw food and then as you make little steps like that it kind of snowballs and you get greater and greater rewards and you can tune into and really learn and establish a relationship with your internal guidance system and that is what we're after personal freedom emotional and mental and spiritual freedom and so that's my message and thank you so much for being here i really appreciate it I would love it if you could subscribe to this channel so I can make more content like this and I can share this message with more people. So please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, please leave a comment, I'd love to hear your thoughts, and I will see you in the next one.